Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Soul Journey. So I haven't put up any video from a very long time. <sighs> a long, a little long video. So, but I wanted to put, I'm catching up uh, on the personal readings and uh, on my studies. Um, but I want to put something out there for you people. And I also want to say something that I'm available for personal reading till the 10th of May. After that, I will available uh, from the end of June. For So if you want a personal reading with me, book it um, before 10th of May because the dates only till 10th of May. I will give the dates only till the 10th of May. I will not do reading, uh, personal reading, personal reading. I'll put up some videos on my channel but I will not do personal readings after 10th May till end of June. Okay, so if you want a personal reading, you can have it with me. After that, I will not be available for one and a half approximately month for personal reading. Okay, so and today's question is, uh, um, how your person feels to feeling how your person is consciously feeling towards you okay so we have three options one two and three take a deep breath and ask yourself how your person is feeling towards you take their name and where is your answer okay and then choose one option i would suggest choose just one option you can choose more than one option your I don't have any issue with you but one option will give you clear cut answer there will no be not be any conflicting answer for you so let's start okay let's start with option number two okay this is the guidance for you i'll open the guidance in the end so the person who has chosen the first option how the person of interest for whom they are watching this reading or uh, currently consciously option number one I'm making it a very small reading okay so give me three cards and bottom the deck how the person of interest of option number one for you option number one Ooh, haha, I'm liking it okay give me two more cards and bottom the deck give me two more cards Hierophant, one more card and bottom of the deck. Okay. Ah, okay. Please clarify the two of swords. Please clarify the two of swords. Please clarify the two of swords. High priestess and we got the high priestess and high priest a couple intuitive couple and the deck is tower please clarify the eight of cups okay so let's now talk they want to offer you something they want to offer the structure to the they see you as equal uh, they see this thing as soul connection higher level of soul connection they see you as uh, they're equal and to, uh, two of swords clarified by the high priestess and um, i saw the three of swords while i was shuffling shuffling but i couldn't pick that card up i shuffled before you know i can pick it up so the thing is there is hurt 100% so they think that high priestess has closed her heart no matter you are male or you are female your person of interest think that think that you have closed their heart close your heart okay or you have already a closed heart if this person is approaching towards you for the very first time and you don't have any future with uh, past with that person you definitely I feel you both have a future together uh, because this person wants it let's see what they will do about it another deck in energy is a 
three uh, eight of cups and page of wands uh, clarify it so they want to move away from uh, the situation which was not serving him um, this is timeless whenever you will see this reading it is applicable to you but uh, full moon is coming so this full moon is making them realize that they should move away from these fears and the things which is not serving them and they should give you this you know this offer to you uh, water sign is coming very strong if your person is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces this, this is very important message uh, if your person is an Aries that's a very important message if your person is a Taurus that is also a very important message and um, Leo and Sagittarius also so Earth is not coming but uh, no, Earth is Taurus is here okay Taurus is here um, Swords are here, but I'm not feeling the air energy that much. Uh, it could be possible that um, it it doesn't matter actually what sign is there, but it's just for the sake. Some people like it to hear. That's why I'm mentioning. It is just about the energy in which they are, and they are very good energy towards you. They are just just a little bit fear that maybe you have closed your heart. It can be a twin flame connection in which your masculine has uh, finally awakened and they see that their feminine has maybe their feminine has closed their heart uh, so they are thinking about they should offer it to you or not or you are very hurt but they are ready to move from the past and they want to make an initiation and they want to make a step towards you we got a night so it will be actually an action it not just an idea the idea will come to their head that they should move away from the situation which is not coming during the full moons the moon is very important for this message and uh, for this person so that means that person is actually a water sign water sign is very important water sign get affected by moon a lot so this is coming very strong but uh, all the signs are open to it there's no issue if you are a water sign there's a special message for you also cancer scorpio pisces and that's it they are um, controlling their peace this is a beauty and bee story and i'm feeling the beauty is here in her power not telling anything there's a lot of secrets she's keeping she's not telling him either that she's actually waiting for him and she know in her heart that he will come back and this is irrespective of the gender i'm just picking up on the energy the yin and the yang energy the person who is ready to receive is the yin energy the feminine energy and the person who wants to take action is the masculine energy um anything else let's see the guidance chaos and conflict okay the guidance for you is the chaos and conflict is there so that the 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 facade the mask the person you know this is j this is zebra but uh, he's painted like a giraffe so the chaos and conflict what the chaos and conflict will do they will remove this paint over you know from um, from the zebra's body and you can see the zebra clearly so you can see now this person clearly after the conflict and chaos you both have gone through you have gained that sixth sense you gain that you know power wisdom that you can see beyond what is actually there in front of your eyes you can see beyond it 33 is a master number if you're seeing the synchronicity this is a special message for you watch the meaning of zebra and uh, giraffe giraffe is the meaning is uh, i'm seeing a lot of giraffe lately so it is a very good meaning so watch uh, see that search on google what is the spiritual meaning of giraffe and what is the spiritual meaning of zebra okay and if there is a special unicorn unicorn kind of you know if unicorn is a sign for you for something it's a special message mm, that's it let's get it done okay so number two is 938 let's do for number two okay number two 
are the person of interest of option number two consciously currently feeling towards option number two person who has chosen option number two how their person of interest is feeling consciously currently towards the person who has chosen the option number two give me three cards in the bottom of the deck give me three cards in the bottom of the deck guys if you want a person reading with me uh, i'm open for it till the 10th may only after that you have to wait for one and a half month for me to come back for the person reading okay i will put readings on the channel but i will not do the person reading for one and a half month i have some person personal work okay so give me three cards on the deck for option number two half moon moon energy is prevalent first first option also got moon and the lovers i'm liking it one more card and another deck six of ace of wands high priestess okay let's take it also so how your person is feeling they're feeling the love but this is still secretive there's still some illusions but the illusion will get cleared up. They are feeling you intuitively, energetically. They want to win. They want to make a move. They want to make a public recognition of this connection. Um, they want a new starting with. Them. But they are uh, in a little bit of conflict. But they are following their intuition. Okay. If this person is a Gemini or any fire sign, that means Aries, Sagittarius, and. Uh, Leo, special message if this person is any water sign, especially Pisces, then this is a special message. All other signs are all relevant because your your natal chart is your personal natal chart is not just made up of one sun sign. It is there are a lot of signs. Okay, so but if you recognize it like that, it is if this is special, then you can take it okay so this person wants you they want this they this person feels this person feels that this connection is divinely protected they feel that they should be transparent to you and uh, they are trying to do that and uh, moon is coming very strong this this is timeless reading but if you are seeing this reading close to a full moon then that full moon is very special for you okay for this person to have some clarity with regards to this situation if this is a twin flame situation what i feel is that they are uh, no matter they are divine masculine energy or feminine energy but their divine feminine energy is uh, getting empowered Okay, and uh, this person feel proud of this connection. Hmm. Let's have the guardians for you. Yeah, okay, we got the feminine and the masculine. So the guardians for you is that they are becoming feminine. Uh, you need to become the masculine you need to work on your masculine energy they are working on their feminine energy okay so that you both can be whole on your own okay then you can be a power couple together secondly once they will be into their feminine energy and they will understand the feminine energy then their masculine part will get healed okay and then they can use their masculine part their masculine energy of the energetic body um, in a right form okay in a right form they will not abuse that abuse is a very harsh word but they will not misuse that masculine energy okay, okay. They will, they will be a healthy masculine energy and their feminine energy will guide them. 
or if you are a feminine and they are masculine you are guiding them intuitively energetically so be in the high vibration in which you are because they see you as this high vibrating person they see you uh, they are accepting the intuition part their intuition part actually exists so that's a very important message secondly there is sun and moon we can see the sun here and the moon here so this is a very um, you know masculine feminine combo is coming very strong in this thing don't close your heart feminine if you're divine feminine your person is uh, will get empowered by the moon to make a move towards you okay and that will be a blast last blast move big move not a small move okay so let's wrap it up here on that note so we are at 15 51 okay so number three how the number uh, person of interest in number three is feeling consciously currently towards number three ah and right off the bat four of wands came for you what up with this two of swords energy it came in all the options open your heart open your heart or if it is already open remain in that energy okay how they feel they are little bit little bit they don't know how to go about it they are uh, contemplating okay contemplating about uh, that what to do about this situation secondly they definitely want the world with you and they want the public recognized social cultural committed relationship with you they want to celebrate their happiness their uh, financial independence with you take what take the message what is resonating okay and toss the others if this person is uh, uh, this is you know your first go there is no past then uh, they feel that you are an independent person and they want to spend a lot of time with you because they enjoy their time with you but uh, one thing is you know bugging them one thing is bugging them there is a three of swords energy either in your life or in their life they are hurt a past hurt if that past hurt is not connected you know with you then that is or with or you are not connected with the past hurt with someone else then uh, You take the past hurt as your situation is. I'm feeling a lot of situation is uh, maybe they have hurted you or maybe you have hurted them. Maybe someone else has hurted you and maybe someone else have hurt them. So take it as it resonates. The pain is here that why the conflict is there but what they actually want, they, they feel a very good with you. They feel that they can be transparent with you. If this is a fixed sign, that means Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, there's a special message. If this is a um, air sign, that means Libra, Aquarius, um, Libra, Aquarius, and uh, Gemini. This is a special message. Um, Pisces is also coming to me, and uh, fire signs are yeah. Virgo hmm? but irrespective of uh, the signs if this is you know going with your situation take it there's a little bit conflict but there's a lot of happiness so people can overcome it because they know the truth about something and what the truth is according to me is that they need to let go of the past at any you know, if they want this happiness to continue, they need to let go of the past. And I feel they will do it. They will also do it and you will also do it. You both consciously know whomsoever have this three of souls in their heart, they know that they need to let go of their past in order to open their heart to the situation. Okay. 
I want to put one more part for you people. How the person finishes. Okay. Okay, Empress. They want a foundation with you. Okay. Justice. Marriage is. Yes, they want marriage. Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Libra is here. This hurt could not be, you know, just I am feeling the mother energy also. There is a word related to mother, either on your side on your, or his, his or her side, um, which is affecting the situation. I'm not seeing that they are seeing you as an empress. I'm seeing this energy for someone that this is a mother factor. It's not just mother. It could be an old person, an old lady. An old feminine energy which is affecting this situation and whomsoever is it's for that person this is someone who is nurturing but at the same time there is something which is hurtful about the situation which this this person has done or said or warned warned about to whomsoever this person is talking this person the old lady energy so that's it but the person you are watching this reading for is Libra is coming very strong they want balance they want uh, foundation they want to hold on to the situation they want to be a provider but there is a fear and uh, if you both know consciously then let go of that fear okay that's how they feel towards you let have one guidance for you happy happy be happy be in the present, be happy, happiness is there, don't look, don't be fearful either from his or her past or your past, whatever is there, past is in past, whatever happened in Vegas remains in Vegas, so that's how whatever happens in past remains in past, okay? Hummingbird uh, is a special sign. And hummingbird is a very beautiful sign because it's a it's a sign of happiness it's a sign of search the meaning of spiritual meaning of humming, hummingbird okay and there's a blue energy so people will speak it out uh, but for that people need to be in the light-hearted energy okay don't don't feel like you need to have a hard hitting questions and hard hitting conversation to move this relationship or connection forward it can be move it can be moved forward in a light hearted energy and the hard and the hurtful question can be asked later on okay so no matter it's a first time or reconciliation have this thing on a light heart or light note that's how this can be built no other way out okay so let's wrap it up here i hope this will help you help you if you want a personal reading with me i'm available till 10th may 2019 after that i'll be available by the end of june so if you want a personal reading with me you can uh, book it right now or you will have it after june okay Okay, guys, I'll put some readings on the channel, but I will not have uh, the personal reading after 10th of May. So if you want to have it, grab it. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. It was awesome. Life is a little bit up and down, but everything, other thing is coming awesome. I'm feeling good energy for all the three options. Bye-bye. <laughs>